This week, we examined the state's $12 billion transportation wish list, which includes a major expansion and improvements to our public transit system. Behind the scenes, the MBTA is dealing with long-standing complaints of rampant discrimination at the T. Today, the agency's general manager, Beverly Scott, appeared on WGBH Boston Public Radio. She told Jim and Marjorie that the T now holds itself to the highest standards in its hiring practices. At the end of the day, we should evaluate ourselves in two ways. One, that we are representative of the communities that we serve and all of their diversity. The other is that it becomes not a function of um, compliance, but really becomes just a part of the DNA of our organization, our community. And, um, and the other is that always at the foundation, I just say like this, I've always been, we got a lot of rules and a lot of laws, and I don't take anything away from them, but nothing beats just plain old, have I treated you? in the same manner that I would have wanted to be treated or I would have wanted my mother, my child, or whatever. To me, it don't get too complicated. All right, well, Scott went on to discuss funding improvements to the T, including a plan to buy new cars for the orange and red lines, all to be manufactured locally. As soon as everybody said, we're ready to roll, and that includes, which I find extremely exciting, a make it in Massachusetts component. If we do not, that's almost a billion dollars worth of rail cars, and I don't know about other people, but I'm very tired of going down outside of Philadelphia to wind up seeing final assembly of the rail cars that we have here from South Korea being done down there. There is no reason why almost every dollar that we can, we don't get a multiplier effect and really wind up being able to put some additional, really have some business development that winds up taking place here. You can hear Scott's entire interview with Jim and Marjorie on our website, wgbhnews.org.